Hey, what's up my friends? Nick Arapkalis here and welcome to today's video. Here we're gonna be talking about the seven side hustles that can generate you the most amount of money. So if you are interested in that, stick around all the way to the end. Before we do get started, I just wanna let you know that I do have a free video training that goes into depth on how I've been able to utilize the internet to generate income for a couple years now. So if you'd like to check that out, head on over to mentorwithnick.com. There's a link down in the video description, okay? But without further ado, let's get into this information. And I actually was doing a bunch of research on this and the information that I'm about to share with you is from a study that was done by Ernest, okay? So it's based on their numbers, what they've seen, and some of the due diligence that I've done. And then I also have an interesting story on how you can kind of leverage these side hustles and make them work a little bit harder for you in the same, at the same time as building a skill that's gonna be much more profitable than any side hustle can be, okay? So let's get into it. So the first one is Etsy. Okay, Etsy is a website where you can basically just sell a bunch of different types of stuff. And it's, it's a lot based on like art. Um, there can be just like art pieces, there can be mugs, there can be uh, just really anything you can put branding on or any type of art on and you can sell it, okay? So that's the first one. Now these, <coughs> excuse me, these, uh, these websites that I'm talking about are the, most, the least you can make to the most you can make. So just keep that in mind as we go down the list, okay? So um, the mean of these type of gigs, I'm, what I'm about to talk about, is mostly in the hundreds of dollars per month. So as I talk about these different websites, the mean, like the average, what most people make on these websites are usually a couple hundred bucks, maybe a little bit more, up to maybe a couple thousand, even just the last two. Um, but it also depends on like what your situation is, how hard are you gonna work, how hard, how long are you gonna work, all those intangibles, okay? So it's all based on averages, that's what this, this list is about. So the first one was Etsy, okay? The second one is Postmates, okay? And what Postmates is, it's just like basically a delivery service. If you wanna be a delivery person, mostly with food, and then you can do that. You go pick up the food and then you take it to the person that requested the food and then you get a commission, okay? So that is Postmates. All right, so the next one is very, very similar to Postmates. It's called DoorDash, okay? It's basically just uh, the competition of Postmates. It's just like kinda, uh, yeah, their competition. So it's the same thing. You pick up food or whatever they ordered, you take it to them and then you get a commission. Okay. All right. The next one on the list is our good old buddy Uber. Okay. It's a ride sharing app. Basically what you can do is you can become a driver where you use your vehicle or a vehicle that you rent and you drive around passengers that need anywhere to go. Okay. So you can sign up in your city. Uh, it, everything, everything is different based on the city. You know, um, so you can make more in some cities, you can make less in some cities, it all depends on that. So you have to go to their website and kind of figure that out, sign up. You have to have a good working vehicle, can't just be some 1960 piece, piece of hunk. It has to be nice, it has to be, um, you know, you have to be able to drive it and get people from place to place without breaking down. So that's, that's important. So that's one of the ways to do it. And I actually have a quick, I have a quick story that I'll share with you at the end of this video that's more about that, okay? The next one is basically their competition. I'm sure you've probably heard of them as well. It's called Lyft, okay, L-Y-F-T. So it's basically just competition of Uber, Uber, and you can make a little bit more money on Lyft, uh, but it seems like there's still a little bit more rides, like actual activity when you're driving for Uber because more people request Uber, okay? It's all, it's all based on supply and demand, okay? So the next one is Task Rabbit. Now this is, this is the sixth one, and we're getting to the more, uh, you can possibly make up and do the thousands of dollars per month. Uh, but basically what TaskRabbit is, it's all about doing different tiny little in-between tasks for anybody, okay? They put a task on there, whether it's mowing the lawn, go to the grocery store for me, or uh, go walk my dog. Whatever it is, uh, you can request, you can, you can gain those, you can pick them up if uh, you wanna do those tasks. So you can make some decent money, especially more than most of the other ones that I shared with you on this list. Okay, so that is the second one. And then finally, the most uh, you can make, the, the side hustle that where you can make the most money based on these averages um, is Airbnb. So basically what you can do is if you have a home that you want to rent out or even just a room that you wanna rent out, you can get people to sign up through the app and request your, your living arrangements to live during that during at some point, okay? Um, we've actually done this a lot. I was traveling through Europe last summer and we airbnb a lot. We would basically just get on the app and we would request a room or request a place 
the entire place, whatever it is, we pay it right on the app and then we come in, they allow us in and then you stay for as long as you request it. And you know, it's, it's really great for travelers. It's really great for if you're going to check out a new city. We use it all the time whenever we travel, not just in Europe, we use it all over the US. We've always used it. So it is a great way to make money if you have those means, especially like if you're going on vacation, uh, you're going like two weeks to Jamaica or something, you can Airbnb out your room or your house. Okay, it's pretty cool stuff. So that is the rundown. Those are the seven side hustles that make you the most amount of money. I wanna share, I wanna share a quick little story with you about Uber and Lyft. Uh, I actually, these were two of my side hustles before I really got going in my online business. Now I was, I was kind of climbing with my online business, but I was also not making enough money to just work my business. So I had to work something else. So I was driving for Lyft and Uber. And like I made mention before, the um, I was making more money with Uber because of the fact that there's more rides. But if I got the same amount of rides as I did with Uber as Lyft, I would probably would make more money with Lyft. Okay, and, and typically I've heard better experiences with Lyft. I think both were great, um, but that's just my opinion. Now, uh, here's another thing that I want to share with you about Lyft and Uber is they have what's called an affiliate program. So basically what you can do is you can refer people to Lyft and Uber and you can make some commissions, okay? And that's actually what I've been doing up for a lot of my time for the last few years now is make er, turning my business into an affiliate marketing business, okay? And so what I was able to do with Uber and Lyft is I actually utilized my skills of referring people and basically just using the internet to refer people and I was starting to get paid commissions and free rides. I, I generated so many free rides with Uber, it was crazy. I, I literally could have probably dr driven across a full state if I used all of them at one time. Um, but then I was also making commissions with Lyft. They would pay me like 15 bucks every time I referred someone. So it was pretty cool now that I, I, I was cultivating this skill where it you know, allowed me to make even more money on top of my side hustle of just driving for Lyft and Uber. Okay, so that's what I strongly recommend. Like, if you're gonna utilize these side hustles, that's great, okay? But I would recommend that you start building up a skill that can maybe help you uh, ge generate more money with one of your side hustles, or you can start leveraging that into more of a real type of business and make more money than any of these side hustles combined, okay? I think these side hustles are great. You can make some money with them, but I think it's just, I think you should take the money that you generate with these side hustles and really just reinvest it into investing in yourself, learning new skills that can really profit you long-term. And then just also building up your mind, building up your habits, building up everything that's gonna make you a much more successful person. Because side hustles are great, but you don't wanna do them forever because they're, they're really are, basically what they are is they're just jobs, okay? I like driving for Uber and Lyft, but after a while I, I didn't like it because it just, I was just trading time for money and that's not what I meant I wanted to do in this life. I wanted to leverage my time and leverage my energy so that I can make more money so I can spend more time with family and friends traveling and doing all that fun stuff that I really wanted to do instead of just trading time for money as I've made mention to, okay? So those are the seven side hustles. Those are based on a study that Ernest did. So I want to share that with you guys. Show you how you can make a little bit of extra money so that you can take that stuff, invest it more into yourself, invest it into more leveraged um, abilities and skills so that you can really, you know, make a lot of money and have a lot of fun with your life because that's what we're here for. All right, so thanks for watching this video, guys. I appreciate your time. Hopefully that helped you out a lot. If it did, click the like button, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and make sure you get connected with us on social media uh, if you have any questions, need coaching or anything like that. And then also go ahead and check out our free video training that got, goes much more into depth on how I cultivated this whole skill of affiliate marketing and how I can apply it to other type of businesses. And, and it really is one of those valuable skills that can really change your life. So again, if you would like to check out that free video training that shows you how to do that kind of stuff, head on over to mentorwithnick.com. That is mentorwithnick.com. There's a link down in the video description. Thanks for watching the video. Look forward to talking to you on the next one.